everybody, what's up? It's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Right, if you guys are new here, I just want to say a huge warm welcome. I'm Melissa, and I make Christian videos and vlogs and just all that good stuff over on my channel. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. There's been so many times when I've literally been watching a YouTuber that I love so much and I realize that I'm not actually subscribed to them, and I'm like, what am I doing? So I would appreciate it so much if you guys could click the subscribe button. And before we get into this video, I just wanted to say that my brand new devotional, my first ever devotional, The God Who, is now live and as you guys are watching this video, it's actually launch day for me, which is so exciting. But again, I will link it down below if you guys want to check it out. And this is actually a devotional that you guys can write in. There's sections for prayer and reflective questions and all those things. So again, it's linked down below. But anyways, let's get on with this video. So as you guys can tell from the title, today I really wanted to talk about how to cope with anxiety and fear in this season. Before we start, I just wanted to say that obviously I am only one person, so I'm talking about anxiety and fear from my perspective and from um, thoughts based on my experience beforehand, so I definitely do not know everything. So I've probably mentioned this in some of my other videos, but at the moment the UK is in tier three, well where I live is in tier three of the lockdown like tier list thing. So it's basically like we're still in lockdown, we can currently go out to the shops, which is very exciting, but we can't go to restaurants or anything like that. I know that this season has been full of anxiety and fear for so many different people, myself included. Like I mentioned beforehand, like my experience and my perspective is only limited, but in my past, I have definitely struggled with anxiety. I'm not clinically diagnosed. I've definitely felt the feeling of anxiety before multiple times due to things from my past that have happened to me. And this has been really difficult for me and, you know, different things have really triggered triggered me throughout my life and I'm guessing that's the same for you guys like everybody has different triggers different things that can maybe bring on anxiety or sometimes there might not be a reason and that's okay too anxiety can look like many different things so I yeah before I start I just want to say like think about what your triggers are and you know for me um one thing that did trigger me was being in isolation being in lockdown because I wasn't able to see the people that I love and that was really difficult for me especially in March and April especially that being said let's get on with these Steps. So step number one of how to cope with anxiety and fear in the season is to look after your thought life. And I have my Bible right here, so why don't we read some verses together? I just want to say that genuinely, like, if you guys want to overcome some anxious feelings or fear that you may be feeling in the season, it is so important to look after your thoughts and actually to think about what you're thinking because there's so much power in that. I did a video all about overthinking, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll put it somewhere in the cards up here and down below as well. But Romans 12 2 is a verse that always comes to my mind when I think about my thoughts and it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will so that verse literally just talks about the importance of renewing your mind and how do you do that you ask god for help and like i mentioned in my overthinking video there's a couple steps that you can take to really look after your thought life as well you can make sure that you take those thoughts captive take them prisoner think about them where did these thoughts come from what is triggering it has something happened in my day has someone said something analyze those thoughts talk to somebody about it there is so much power in talking to somebody about what you're thinking and recently that has been something that i've been trying to do to be honest i can be really bad at talking about how i feel sometimes so that's one thing that i've been trying to do recently like when i have all these anxious thoughts in my mind to actually speak to someone about it there is so much power in that and the last thing i want to say about this first point looking after your thoughts is to make sure that they are allowed aligned with the word of God. And what I mean by this is it comes from the verse Philippians 4 verse 8 and it says, finally brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. The Bible tells us that these are the type of things we should be thinking about, things that are true, things that are pure, things that are right. And if those thoughts that are in your mind right now are not any of those things 
then you need to replace it with the truth. And to find the truth, you can go to God's word. You can ask somebody to tell you the truth. You can talk to your family. You can talk to God about it. There are so many different ways. But yeah, definitely point number one is to look after your thoughts. The next way that I believe that we can cope with anxiety and fear in this season is to self-care. Again, this is something that in the past I have been very bad at, to be honest. I tend to want to look after people and talk to people and be there for people, but sometimes I forget about myself and the fact that I actually have needs as well. If you're an empathetic person, I'm sure you can relate. This is definitely something that empathetic people go through a lot of the time. And I think if you're like Enneagram 2, if you've done like that personality test thing, Enneagram 2 are the people that just are like this, that are so bad at self-care. But anyways, again, there are so many different ways that you can self-care. Think about the things that will really bring you true rest, whether that looks like maybe implementing more quiet time into your day or making yourself a cup of coffee first thing in the morning or doing a face mask, meeting up with a friend that you haven't seen in a while, FaceTiming somebody. It can literally just look like lying in bed and watching a Netflix movie. It can look like just meditating on the word of God. Like there are so many different ways that you can self-care, but I really think, especially in the season of COVID-19, we need to be self-caring because we're in our house a lot of the time and when we're in our house it can cause us to really overthink things and feel more anxious feel more fear because we're trapped inside and you know we're not in the in the outside world like we normally are we're just trapped in this one space it's really important to make sure that you're looking after yourself so for me personally in my life one thing that i like to do when i self-care is to make sure that i'm spending time with jesus in every single day because i really feel like that fills up my cup. I also like to sometimes just run a bath and listen to worship music or read a book or something like that. So those are some of the things I like to do, but I believe that those things will be able to help you with your anxiety and your fear in this season because you're gonna be looking after yourself more and that's gonna be so helpful for your mental health. Third thing is to watch your screen time and think about it. Like, what are you taking into your eyes, your heart? Like, what are you taking in and absorbing in this season? So, recently my screen time has been absolutely horrible. Like, it's literally been like five or six hours, which is so bad. And to be honest, I have noticed it in the way I've been thinking and the way my thoughts have been and, you know, the level that my anxiety has been at. I can tell that when I spend a lot more time scrolling and comparing myself to other people's lives that I definitely start to feel more anxious and I don't know about you guys but that's just how it is for me so I would encourage you guys to look at your screen time look at ways that you can maybe try and cut it down a little bit and do other things instead and think about what you're taking in like are the things you're watching on Netflix are the things you're watching on TV are they actually good for you are they creating more fear in your life or are they actually causing you more peace because if they're causing more fear in your life I would say get rid of it stop watching it immediately because it's so important to look after your mental health at this time that is what is most important you know, looking at the news and things like that, like, it's not the most important thing ever, you know? You can just ask your friend to keep you updated with what's going on in the news. The fourth point I have is prayer, and I really, really do believe that if you guys want to get through your anxiety and fear in this season, that we need to be in prayer. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 say, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is a verse that I absolutely love to come to when I'm feeling anxious um, because I know that I need the peace of God in my life and I know that the answer to that is prayer and thanksgiving and petition and petition is basically asking God for things so you can ask God to take away your anxiety or to fill you with peace or to give you the strength to get through that situation or to get through those thoughts that you may be having. Guys, if you have things on your mind, like pray specifically about them, you know, Obviously, God already knows what's on your mind before you even say a word, but it's so important to pray specifically over things like, honestly, it can literally be anything. You can literally be like, God, I really feel like I'm thinking this way right now and I really want to get rid of that thought or I really want to replace it with the truth. Like, please help me to do that. You know, pray specifically. There is so much power in that. Fifth step that I have is to see things from God's perspective. 
so obviously at this moment in time with covid with lockdown going on and everything like that it is really hard sometimes to see a different perspective and a book in the bible that has really helped me with that is the book of ecclesiastes this book talks about like the fact that there are different seasons in life there are different times and each time can have beauty in it each season there can be goodness in it i would really recommend that you read the book of ecclesiastes it's only like eight chapters long i think so it's really not even that long and it just really helps you to have a different perspective and to see things through the eyes of god and i really feel like you know if we want to cope with anxiety and fear right now we need to be seeing things from god's eyes and god's perspective like just thinking about lockdown like obviously we're in this situation obviously we can't hug people right now we can't really you know spend time with that many people that much to be honest but i've just been trying to think about it like what are the good things that are coming out of this season like what is god doing in this season what is he actually doing behind the scenes that we don't even know and like in my case like i'm so thankful because i've been able to do university online which usually i have to travel like three hours on the train just to get to my university so i've been really thankful for that in this season that i've actually been able to stay at home and do uni because it's been so helpful for me and another thing like trying to see covid from god's perspective is the fact that like god already knew that covid was going to happen and god is going to bring goodness out of it and he already has like in my case my youth group has grown quite a bit in this time um and i've been able to see more young people come to christ which is absolutely incredible so you know if there's only that good come out of the season i'm thankful for that and the last thing that i just want to talk about how to cope with anxiety and fear in this season is coping strategies and these can look like so many different things i think i kind of talked about this in my anxiety video so again you guys can check that out as well these are some of the ones that i find helpful so deep breathing grounding you know i like to just sit on the floor sometimes and just feel the earth and the ground around me and it just helps me feel centered again prayer can be a coping strategy it really is for me worship music oh my goodness i love it like whenever i'm feeling upset just you know put on the worship music i mean I always put on worship music, but especially when I'm sad, I just love to like turn it up full blast and just take in those lyrics. You can talk to somebody about what's on your mind. Again, there is so much power in that genuinely. There are so many different ways that you can cope with this season and i would really recommend for you to find the coping strategies that work best for you i know my mum and dad love to do meditation and that really helps for them like christian meditation and things like that you know for you it may be doing exercise every day like maybe that's a way that you cope with your anxiety and fear in the season maybe that looks like praying at specific points in your day just to make sure that you get that time in with god you know maybe that looks like going for a walk there are so many different ways but guys i would encourage you to find coping strategies that will be able to benefit you in this season oh my goodness i know there was so much in this video but i really just wanted to cram all of this information that i felt god speaking to me genuinely and these things i've been trying to put into practice myself like these aren't just things that i'm I, that i just like came up with these are genuinely things that have helped me in this season to cope with anxiety and fear and i genuinely believe that god doesn't want us to just cope with our anxiety like he wants to free us from it so I would encourage you guys to really put these things into practice and God will definitely help you through it and give you the strength to get through this season. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!